Let's get on to the Turfentine Inside Track Meet, race number two. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Betway's Waiter to Win. It's good to be with you. Thank you very much to Brandon Bailey, who stepped in and helped me for the last few weeks on the Waiter to Win show. Much appreciated. Daryl Marie and um, Darren Burrows in good form on Sunday. Daryl Marie will join me. I want to remind you about our options in terms of social media. We're at Waiter to Win is our handle on the X account as well as WhatsApp. There's the number for you to mark up. Well, the maiden class field, 1,200 meters. Uh, in terms of the market race, two, Daryl Marie, the source uh, three copper mist for Waishong Mowing's top of the board. It's two to one. Two fast duties, three to one, second favorite. We're doing this Monday morning. Please don't forget that. So it's all subject to change. And Betway's got eight Japanese starred, 11 to two. We heard courtesy of Sharp Pretoria sent the Mike Cock voice note from Betway, making reference to the fact that Japanese star, nice sort, but probably going to need a bit further. So what does that mean, Bipots, Mr. Marie? It means the two to one is very attractive about Copper Mist, and I expect him to just about win it. Uh, certainly a banker in the Bipot clot. Last time out, I don't know if you watched the race, caught three wide, <laughs> exposed on the outside, hit mm. the front a long way from home. Um, not concerned about the drop-in trip. I think he certainly is the one to beat on form. I don't like the Tar Me form line, which Fast Duty comes out of. I'm okay. taking him on. So I'm going to say, if you want to take exactors and swingers, I'd play around the 10, uh, Sovereign's Call. Uh -huh. So I'm not convinced about that form line, but he jumped from a bad draw on that occasion, got the one draw, mm -hmm. maybe just able to get into the race this time around. He certainly will improve. But uh, I actually think Copper Mist is is worth a strike at his current price of okay. 2 to 1. All right, so you're quite bullish. That three runs to date has Copper Mist. Yeah, but listen, Jan, I mm -hmm. The horse that finished behind him, a yes. length and a half behind him, Scarlet Pimpernel, came out and ran second to a very nice sort in Purple Pitcher. He beat the third place runner by four lengths. So much stronger form than Fast Duty. Okay, so we'll take that as a Bipot Banker. Let's take a look at Daryl's Bipot. We'll put that up. And it's a 40 Rand Bipot. Looks like a fairly straightforward card then. We'll talk to Daryl about it later. But Banker 3 by Banker 9. By 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we got two horses for each leg after that. 2 and 10 by 4 and 5 by 1 and 5. It's a 40 Rand Bipot. This is a maiden plate now. It's a maiden class field over 2,000 meters. On Monday morning, number nine, out of dimension for Mike Cock at seven to four. He, <clears throat> excuse me, his message is out of dimension will be suited over the extra distance, uh, looking for this, this uh, extra uh, 2,000 meters and put blinkers on to prevent her from lugging or hanging. And um, although maybe in time to come, this horse will win races, she's definitely got to be included in the play. The seven and with an E is seven to two, Currently second choice. Six Villa Samaya is at nine to two, third favorite. And number two, Solar Diva is five to one. So you've heard now what Mike says. What is it? How does it marry up to what you like? Yeah. Thanks to Shoal for sending that voice note, Clyde. Yes. And Betway, obviously. Uh, <coughs> he, Mr. DeCock in that message says this filly is not devoid of ability. Yeah. She's going to win her races. That's enough for me. I think the, the winning move. <coughs> Excuse me, Clyde. Sure. The winning move of Yeah is the fitment of the blinkers. You know, she's hasn't quite got into her races to date. I'm hoping with the blinkers, they just sharpen her up. Mr. DeCock says she's got ability. She'll win her races in time to come. I think... Not um, a strong field, is it? No. Well, she's held on paper, Clyde. If you have a look at it, Anne mm. with an E yeah. clearly holds her Yes. Uh, on paper. But you're hoping um, the blinkers will make the difference. Blinkers should make the trick. Uh, and the Anne difference. with an E should also join the, the 2000 or what? Yeah, I'm, I'm not, not entirely sure, Clark. Okay. Um, well. Yeah, I, I'm going to say she's going to reverse the form with Anne with the E. Okay. And you know what? I'm confident in bankering her in the PA and the bar pot, which I've done. Uh, let's see how she goes down to the start with those blinkers before we have a strike. Okay. Nine ahead of seven for Daryl. Pretty much how they, he sees how they run in this event. We've got a place accumulator for you. So race closes at 25 past one on Tuesday. Banker nine by one and two. By two and ten. By four and five. By one and five. By one, two, three, four. By two, five and eight. Now the easiest way to take that is to take your phone, put it on camera, scan that code, and it should do all of the rest. Just about all of the rest for you. That's 192 Rand per.
Well, this is not an easy race as far as I'm concerned. It doesn't, I don't know, I'll speak to Daryl about it now. It's a handicap, 76 fillies and mares. It's over 2,600 metres. We're on the inside track. I'm not sure you can leave any horse out here, really, Daryl. I mean, let me just have a look at the betting. 13 to 8, number 3, Angel's Wish. 2, Bur Princess Kesh, 9 to 4, second favourite. Number 1, Kind Judy, 11 to 4. And then you've got 5, Burmese Tiara, 6 to 1. It's 14 and better about the others. I know where uh, the long distance races is your man. So you're probably siding with Angel's Wish, I would imagine. No, no. Not actually, Claude. I don't think there's value in her price. Mm. Uh, listen, she's going to run a cracker. Richard Free takes the irons. She uh, takes the ride in the irons. Super fertile. I'll give her a winning chance, but... Um, Certainly not going to be punting her at that price. No. Um, go back to that ballroom bliss run. You'll actually see that uh, Mr. Azzy or Mark and Adam Azzy's spirit princess is two kilograms better off for a three length beating. Now she's unexposed over this trip, mm -hmm. spirit princess. And um, her dam stayed all day. 52 sure. kilograms to shoulder. Would I be surprised to see her reverse that form? I wouldn't. <coughs> she's 14 to 1. She's like almost, well, yeah. just about the rank outside her. I'll give her a chance. The only one I don't give a chance here, Clyde, you said it's hard to... All the way from the USA. Yeah. Have a look. She's under sufferance. Mm -hmm. She's a net 65. The others are net 76. What's that? 11 pounds, 5.5 kilograms yeah, under sufferance. It's a lot of weight. Yeah. I just looked at the pace of this race. I don't know where the pace is coming from. Maybe as he. No. Maybe. Burmese Tiara, if she breaks well, she should get to the front. Another one that's trying okay. the trip. She's only got uh, no weight to shoulder. <clears throat> so she could certainly feature. And then obviously, can't you, Judy, uh, Clyde, last time out the 2000 was too short for her. She'll run a cracker. She, she goes well over here. And then Princess Cash, what I find interesting is they've taken the blinkers off of her. If she can just settle in running and uh, and we know she can turn it on, mm. I think um, I'm actually going to be leaning towards her in a very tricky lineup. Chances to all of one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Open race. You heard it there from Daryl. It's not easy. Pick six says we've got something for you. Let's have a look at what Daryl's got in first leg of the pick six. One, two, three, four, five. By two and ten, no bankers in the pick six. But lots of two horse races. Two and ten in the next leg. By four and five. By one and five. By one, two, three, four. And we're not taking our chances at the back. We're going one through nine, spending 1440 on the pick six. Monday morning, we're doing the Tuesday show at Turf and Teen. Scratch number seven's not running here. We're in the E Division, a handicap at the 67 level over 1,700 metres. Betway on Monday morning had number two, Black Lightning, at even money favourite. Just a look at the bottom of the screen quickly. There's a reminder about where you can get information from with regards to the social media opportunities on Betway's way to win. Well, Black Lightning's even money. And then after that, you can get 11 to 2 about the six, Rosie Lemon, and 6 to 1 about number 10, uh, Little Miss Sunshine is the third choice. I don't know if it ends there, Daryl Marie, or does it end with a favourite? Yeah. St. Cloud, I'd like to say the favourite's a good thing. Um, you know, he's found really good form currently. Yes. Fabian's found form. Yes, he's in form. Um, so there's a lot in his favour. He's off the same rating as what he ran second last time out to Napoleon. Mm -hmm. Four runs on the inside track, yet to eat the board. I don't know if that's a worry. Uh, because That's a worry? No doubt. It? Yes. What distance was that? Sorry to ask you. Yeah, Can I you don't see? You don't know. Yeah, but if they're not distances. featuring on the inside track, it's a concern. Yeah, but he was off so form what? then, Clyde. Okay. I'll give him a winning chance. Do I think he represents any value? No. I think you'll get a good run for your money. You know, he's very fit. I'm sure Gavin's going to push forward, get into a striking position. So a winning chance. Uh, Back right. him up with one runner only. Mm -hmm. That's the filly or the mare. Little Miss Sunshine. Now, have a look last time I clutch. She returned from a layoff, right? She's by Savona. She returned from a layoff and she ran a cracker in open company. Now, she's obviously in open company once again. But more importantly, they removed the tongue tie mm -hmm. and the tongue tie stays off. 52 and a half kilos mm -hmm. to shoulder. Um, that form line's been frank now. Funky Music won again. I see that. Rattle Bag won from there. Mm. So she's getting. Quite a bit of weight from the favourites. Uh, Black Lightning. I think she's going to trouble the favourites. So for me, 2 and 10. So that's your first choice, maybe? No. No, no, I'm leaning towards the favourite. Favourite, yeah. That's not I a strong I think there's deal. more value about the mare. 
How does Little Miss Sunshine? She coped on the inside track before. Oh, so? Not. No. Ah, then we got problems. You're not we convinced? Got, we got problems and we got problems. Well, find us something then. No, Clark. I don't know. I know. I'm not sure. E Division handicap. Don't Phillies sit and on Mears. the fence. Uh, they say no, no, no. And then. Is it Phillies and Mears? No, there's no, some. It's right. open. Oh, there's Clark, some we gold. need to give the, the viewers the form updates. Yes. Three strands put in a stinker, unfortunately. He ran last. Beaten 11 lengths by Countess Danza. Okay. Thank you for that. Well, I don't know how convinced you are. Um, Daryl says two and ten, perhaps those are the two. Okay, well, let's put his jackpot up and see what we do in a race like this. Perhaps it's not that strong a field. So, you know, you can get the first and second favourites fighting it out. And that's what Daryl's uh, insinuating here. Two and ten by four and five, by one and five, by one, two, three and four. So Sharapova does appear to be the right horse in this race. Mike the Cock, when uh, we had that voice note sent to us by Shoal, is quite bullish about Sharapova. And on current form, does look like the horse to beat. On Monday, the market betway had Sharapova at 7-10. to 10. Number one, Queen of Smoke, 5-1. to one, And the five, Rattle Bags at 11-2. to Daryl, your take on Sharapova? Big, big chance. Big runner. Expects it to go close, according to the voice notes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hard to... Faulted. Fault her in any way. I mean, mm. she's going to strip fitter. Uh, she's likely raced. She's obviously got a lot of scope for improvement. She did pick up a slight penalty for running second in her first start after a four-month break. Kilo and a half penalty. Um, only backing up with one horse, Clyde. Number five, Rattlebag. I think it's a racing two. Penultimate start for Rattlebag. Very, very impressive. Last time out over the mile against the boys, I think just a touch too far for her. Coming back in trip, she'll give the favour around for money. Four and five. Don't Training look. on last time? Was she getting, I mean, she got close she enough got to there. Check, huh? She got there and just... Didn't finish it. Yeah. So I think what's key for her is coming back in trip. The 1450. Okay, so you're quite keen on Rattlebag, huh? Currently, I think Rattlebag re represents more value. Okay, well, maybe Charapova will drift on that basis. Let's see what the situation is. Daryl's worked uh, out uh, our next bet for us. Let's put that up, please. And it is a second jackpot. He's going those two runners he made reference to, Sharapova, as well as Rattlebag. Race seven, let's take a look at the next event on our card and put the Betway market up. I'll get that up for you guys quickly and see what they are they betting? Five to four about number one, Kaiwal Army. That's your favourite. Number five is the second choice, Tony, at seven to two. The ten, the third choice, Zenobia's Gold, and nine to two on the Monday. Seven to one, number two, Richard the First. And then eight to one about number six, John Wick. It's tens and better about the others. All right, Daryl, take us through it. Sort of races it. What do you make of it? Market's got Kaiwal Army as a hard horse to beat. Is that the case? See the pause money here. Tell me. First stakes, 250. Oh, it's that uh, farm sale stakes race. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Right. Uh, that's why Miss Kelly Mitchley's rating. Good to have her on the high felt. Yeah, great yes. to have her. Yes. Clyde, strictly on form, I mean, Kawalami's going to prove very hard to beat. Uh, you can see he's got a distinct liking for the inside track. He's raced twice over here for two victories. Um, nice effort last time out against the above average filly. Um yeah, hard, hard, hard to fault him because he's fit, well-weighted, in form, so winning claims. Okay. On paper, he's got the holding or the beating of Dhoni by quite some distance. Uh, but I find it very interesting in that Sean Terry is uh, running him so soon thereafter. He must have taken that... He's extremely well. Yeah. He must know he's much better than that effort. Yeah. Um, That's a big stake as well. Because on that occasion, Clyde, he was over doing it. He was over racing in the first 100 uh, meters. So I think there's no way that Carl Lamy is going to beat Dhoni by five lengths this time around. And I would go as far as saying he's got a chance of reversing that form. So one in five for me. Um, I'm, ex I'm expecting a lot of improvement from number five, Tony. Match race? Yes, in my book it is. Match race. Okay, we've got it. One and five from Daryl in this, the farm sale stakes over 1,200 meters. Daryl's worked out a pick three, seven, eight, and nine. 
and put those up and have a look. One and five. By one, two, three, four. By two, five and eight. There's the last pick three of the day. Okay, so Cosmic Stars, the favorite, the one priced up 15 to 4 when we did this on Monday, joined with the two uh, Power Broker at 15 to 4. And in fact, the three Black Egret is priced up 15 to 4. The four Munchkins in there at 9 to 2, 13 to 2, about 6 and Novi, and then 10 to 1 and better about the others. All right, Mr. Marie, I know you worked out your pick three. We got it the last double. Uh, not easy, the race. It's quite competitive, I thought. Very competitive. Chances to all of one, two, three, and four, Clyde. Um, start with Munchkin. This horse says, let the side down, eh? Mm. Really? But I see the form lines worked out well, eh? Yeah. Second breath, one. Back what to base, six, one. What was the issue with one. Munchkin? There was, some, there was something came up. Can you recall? I can't remember now. He's having his peak Somebody right now. mentioned something. I mean, now it's time for him to shine, Clyde. Third one after the rest, right? Yeah. I'd actually, I'd like to see him ridden more cold. And run at them. Let's see if he's capable then. Um, but he's very fit now, so winning chance. Black Egret and Power Bro Broker. I mean, not much separates in the two of them. Mm. Back, Black Egret goes well on this inside track. He's got a kilogram pull in the weights. Um, Power Broker did extremely well to win last time out. I mean, never looked like winning. They had to really knuckle down hard and get, get there, there mm. in the latter stages. Courageous one, huh? Yeah, and then Cosmic Star, I mean, he's an improving four-year-old. I actually think he's a bit horse around the bend. Mm. So I'm not going to get clever, Clyde. Uh, one, two, three, and four. Munchkin hasn't been on the inside track, huh? No. No. Well, does seem to be the right horse. Does appear. Third one off the rest. Lucky's had a terrific run, Lucky with Alakas, huh? He's had yeah, a let's really... Hope, let's, hope, um, let's hope he, he can, uh, can go off. through the divisions now, Clyde. Yeah. Expected him to. Let's take a look. Last double of the day from Mr. Marie. Here it is. One, two, three, four. Although we are expecting the four to run a massive race ahead of two, five, eight. Second of September handicap. What is the next Turpentine race meeting? Second of September. That's the race. A thousand meters, the name of the race. Let's have a look at the market for the last race on the card. And a reminder just about our social media whilst. I go through it. Two Ziyasha, it's five to one the field, really. Um, open race. Two Ziyasha, five to one. Five, here is the Tiger, five to one. Eight, Tuscan Gold, five to one. Number four, Super Awesome, 11 to two. Number one, Stormy Seas, 13 to two. And number three, Successful Secret, 13 to two. In fact, there are a whole lot of them that are still quoted in the market. So I know in, in I think in one of your exotics, you went the field, didn't you? One through nine. In, is it the whole field? Pick six just and about? the second jackpot on yeah. the field. Don't blame Same you. type of a race, Clyde. Mm. I'm just trying to find something over here, right? Help me here, Clyde, in the computer form. Uh, Tuscan Gold. The M has been removed since his last start. M. Now, what is M? Uh, I can't. I don't know. Um, really. In the computer form abbreviations, I don't. I can't find the M. I'm not sure. I don't know Sorry, what the I M can't is. Help you. Are they so, you know, there's all these new equipments and, yeah. and, and, and whatever. Well, surely it be, should the, be stated. What they're making, I don't It should know. be stated. I'm sorry I can't help you. But eventually it'll come to you. Well. Somebody will feed that info to you. Please. Okay. What I can say, Clyde, is finally, think that's gonna finally <laughs> this horse is reverting to a thousand meters. I think that's. Is that what you've been waiting for? That could really do all the difference. Um, I'll tell you why. You know. Tony had a winner earlier on in the day, and he said to the presenter, this was put in such good work back at home, Tuscan Gold. And I don't know why he ran so badly last time, Marty. You know, he never got handy. It was over 1,200 meters, but it really, it was a poor effort. Reported to be blowing. Um, 1,000 meters on the inside track, I think we could see the best of him. And I do believe he's going to improve on his latest poor effort. Then you okay. got the likes of here is the Tiger, you know, he, he surprised connections in his penultimate start, returning from a long layoff. Uh, I don't know if the 1,000 meters on the inside track is really going to be his optimum trip. Um, if he's in contention going through the 400, I can see him running on. But it is quite uh, close. I mean, he's putting three very close runs together now mm. after such a long layoff. I mean, he must be taking his race as well. Uh, respect for Ziyasha, number two. He's only had one handicap start to date and he finished close up. 
is of the same mark, Richard Free from Wangra. I mean, that's really half the battle won. Mm. So, we have Formula One was Frank, eh? yeah. Don Carrari at Durban Quandry line yes. came out. Yeah. So maybe there's yeah. something out of that. And that's Richard Ferry, isn't it? But if Tuscan Gold's on his bicycle early, okay. I could see him hang on. Is that your play? Yeah. Tuscan Gold may be the right one. Currently 5-1. to one. It is one of those races. It's not easy. It's a tough race, but uh, there's a swinger that we're recommending that you take in this race. Let's have a look. Uh, Ricky will put it up. And the swingers 2, 5 and 8. We're boxing that, and it'll cost you three rand a time. Thanks for watching. Betway's waited to win, everybody. Trust it was a good one. Chat soon.